Hi guys, listen, got a few things I want to talk about. <clears throat> Yesterday, I went to a restaurant. It's a all-you-can-eat restaurant. It's on Pleasant Hill Road. It sits behind batteries and bulbs. <sighs> I was sitting there and a customer, a non-customer, was sitting there, started coughing. And I looked at a old, older, also non-couple that was sitting not far from me. I looked at the woman, she looked at me, and I shook my head, and she smiled. And the guy stops coughing. He walks by me, maybe, I don't know, a minute after he finished coughing. And I saw him coming, you know. I took my glass and put it over this side of my table. And she saw it, she just dropped her head and started smiling. So anyway, he comes back, he sit down. And after a little while, he starts to cough again. And I'm like, man, this is crazy. Okay, that's all I got to say on that subject. The next thing is this. All Everything I'm talking about is about germs, all right? You ever watch porn? I watch porn, right? I like gay porn, okay? And I've noticed that a lot of young men will, when they get through having gay relations with somebody, the first thing they do it grabbed their cell phone. Now you just finished having, you just finished, what's the word? Parking your F-150 in some out of garage. And now the first thing you do is grab your cell phone instead of going to wash your hands. People wonder why I don't touch people's cell phone. You know, what I really hate is when you see some out of cell phone and it's like grease prints all over it. That is so gross. Extremely gross. I want to tell you guys about, I've got two people fired. I didn't do it deliberately. It just happened that way. First guy I got fired was a young brother. He was working at KFC. He came out with one napkin. No, well, not napkin, but one little rag they used to wipe down stuff. He walked, he wiped every table, every chair with that one rag. Never did wring it out in warm, sanitized water or anything. And I'm going to tell you how he wiped the table. He half a wiped the table. I mean, he wiped like one table and he did this on a bunch of them he wiped in three different spots like one two three and went to the next table i'm like he's not even wiping the whole table and like i said he washed wiped the seats and i i was like i didn't say anything i called the head i think i called no i think i went online I went online and complained on to corporate or whatever. Uh, I know a girl that works at that particular KFC is in Shipley's, Florida. And she told me that he, he was fired because somebody else had complained about him doing that. So he, had, he was still doing it apparently. Okay, I got a nun female fired. I don't forget it was a fast food place. I don't I don't forget which one. She was standing up, she was talking to somebody, and she she had gloves on where she was fixing food. She took her what do you call it? Bun thing off, put all her hair together, and put the bun thing back down, and she was standing there, you know, just whatever. And started fixing food. And I'm like, 
guys, I don't eat, I don't like to go, I don't go to two burger joints too often because of that reason. You know, I don't like people touching my food directly. So I prefer chicken places to use tongues, you know. Very few people are gonna reach down and grab a hot piece of chicken with their hand. So that's the reason I don't Burger King, McDonald's, Arby's. Probably the most burgers I've been eating lately is Popeye with the um, new chicken sandwich. But I usually go to chicken places. I don't like people touch my food. There was one time I was at a restaurant. I don't remember where. <clears throat> I saw another female. She was standing there. She was talking to somebody. And she reached back and started to rub her bottom. Not not trying to get off of anything. She was just, you know, just I guess she was just wanting to see what her butt feel like. And I went and says, I looked, saw another customer looking at, and they shook their head. I called the manager over and told her what was going on. And she walked over and told the girl to go wash her hands. So fast food places are just I don't I don't I mean I usually don't go there. Like I said, I usually go to chicken places. I don't, I don't mess with the hamburger places too often. <sighs> what else has happened? What else? I knew I was going to have to keep a list of this. Okay, I had a, I had a co-worker one time. His name was Emery. Emory and I was riding down the road. He was training me or whatever. And I actually, I think he would, I don't forget why he was riding down the road. But anyway, he was riding down the road. And Emory knew I liked guys, right? And he says, he got something he want to ask me. And he was hoping I didn't get angry. And I was like, go ahead. So he asked me, he says, you have relations with men, right? And I was like, yeah. He says, you have, you park your F-150 in back garages and I'm like yeah he said at the same time you don't like to shake hands and I was like nope he says isn't shaking hands a lot sanit more sanitized than what you do and I'm like yeah and then I thought about it this happened probably 10 years ago and I, this is probably the reason why Shortly after that, I quit parking my F-150s in people's garages. You know, I just, um, it don't appeal to me anymore. And I believe it has something to do with Emory asking me that question because before the end, I never really thought about it much. But, you know, I remember I once kicked the guy out the house, my apartment. He come over one time. And without me asking, he wanted to pleasure himself. I think he was trying to turn me on because he wanted me to pay him to mess around. I wouldn't do it because he, he wasn't very good looking. He was slim. He was kind of young, but he looked like Skeletor from He-Man or whatever. Well, anyway, when he finished pleasuring himself, I told him to go wash his hands. He didn't want to wash his hands. I'm like, dude, go wash your hands. He's like, man, it's just lotion. It's just lotion. I'm clean. You know, I told him to leave. I got up, opened the door, told him to leave. You know, And when he got out of my car, I wiped down everything he touched. And he has been over. Well, he never called me again. Which, if he had a call, I wouldn't answer the phone. But yeah, I've gotten real... Real germaphobic. It started, you know, it I've always been that way, just more so now than ever, you know. Like I said, I just I when I see people phones and I see grease all on the phone, like my phone, I keep my phone clean. And it's just gross, man. It's just gross. All right, the kind of burger places I like. 
when these McDonald's, Arby's, Burger King, if I have to go to one, it'll probably be Wendy's. Just won't be on my side of town. You ever go to a burger place and notice like you, the bottom bun here, the burger is here, the cheese is there. I mean, it's, it's like the person don't, don't know how to stack. That's what you get when you go to burger joints on this side of town. Or it'd be too much ketchup or too much mustard. I don't know what the hell is wrong with these people around here. You know? Just I don't I, like I said, I don't really go to burger joints. I really don't. I don't I don't like people touching my food. Alright, a few more things that bothers me. Can someone please tell me? Why is it that people can't change lanes without causing track and trailers to have to slow down? Why is that that people cannot change lanes without making me slow down? You know, I, I be riding down the road. Like, I mean, I'm riding down the road, minding my business, doing 65 miles per hour, and this guy comes past me at the last minute, get in front of me, and he wants to be safe and slow down to get off the expressway. You driving down the road, you know you there's a track and trailer. Why you want to get in front of me to slow down to change lane? Why can't you get behind me? Better yet, why can't you get in front of me up there? Why you got to get right in front of me and slow down? Whew. Guys, something else. When you ride down the road and there's three lanes, say you're on the highway <clears throat> and there's three lanes, okay? Normally, the right two lanes are for trucks, okay? Normally. If you're in the center lane and there's a truck behind you and he's tailgating you, it's probably because you're driving slow and you need to get over or get over to the left or get over to the right. Just get out the way of the truck. You're in my fast lane when you ride down the center lane. You're in my fast lane. And I sometimes wonder, do people actually know they're in my fast lane? But a lot of people don't care. But anyway, those are a few things that bothers me. And I'm going to let y'all go. My Hero 5 camera has stopped working. I ain't in a good mood.